What's up guys and welcome back and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to take one of our BNF NanoHawks and get it running with one of our RTF kits. So this is going to be like an upgrade video. You already have the transporter goggles and the E6 transmitter that came in one of our RTF kits and you want to advance and move towards our NanoHawk. These are going to be the steps you have to take to get that running. So let's get right into it. So the first thing is the goggles. These are transporter goggles and they run on a 5.8 analog frequency. So you can actually use these with any drone that transmits on a 5.8 analog signal. So there's not much you have to do, you just need to make sure that they're on the correct channel. And I made a previous video on how to get your VTX and your goggles on the same channel and how they kind of work together. So make sure to check out the description below where I have that video so you can get these two on the correct channel. So I'm going to set these actually aside so there's not much to it. And what we're going to really focus on is how to get our E6 transmitter to work with our NanoHawk. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to our knowledge base on the Emax USA website and you're going to want to find the NanoHawk in there. And once you find the NanoHawk, I already went ahead and made a RTF CLI command. And by the time I'm making this video, it should be up on our website and you're going to want to install that RTF CLI command for the NanoHawk. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So what you're going to need is actually the NanoHawk, a USB cable, and some sort of computer. I'm using a MacBook, but you can easily use a PC. Now once you have the NanoHawk RTF CLI downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and open Betaflight. And once Betaflight's open, we're going to install the CLI command we just downloaded. So the first thing you're going to want to do is connect your NanoHawk via USB. And I like to connect it with the drone side first. And then plug it into my computer with the other end. And after that you're going to go ahead and hit connect on Betaflight. Now once inside Betaflight we're going to go down to the CLI tab and that's on the left all the way at the bottom. And once here you're going to go ahead and hit load from file. Now you're going to find the CLI command that we just downloaded and you're going to hit open. A little window is going to pop up asking if you want to execute this command and that's what we're going to do. So you're going to hit the execute command button and it's going to sit there and upload all the settings from the CLI command into your NanoHawk right in front of you. Now it should automatically save and reboot but if it doesn't you can go ahead and hit save and then hit enter. And this is going to save the settings into your drone. Now that we have the settings set up in our NanoHawk, the next procedure is we're going to bind the transmitter to the NanoHawk itself. Now you could do this one of two ways. The first way is you can locate the bind button on the board here and it's right on the outside of the board. You can see it on the top side. Or since we're already in beta flight, we can use the CLI command to bind. And that's the procedure I like the most since we're already connected to Betaflight. We're gonna hit connect again and we're gonna go down to the CLI tab one more time and you're gonna type bind underscore RX. And this is gonna put your drone into the binding mode. And the way you could tell that it's in the binding mode is you'll see the blue LED on the bottom of the aircraft. It's gonna turn solid blue. And once that happens, you can go ahead and take our E6 transmitter and bind this. And the way you're going to do this is you're going to power on your E6 transmitter and you're going to hold down both of the bottom trim buttons. And this is going to put it into binding mode. And you want to make sure you do this a couple of feet away from your drone. So I'm going to set the drone on one side of the table and I'm going to hold in the bind buttons. Now if you look at the bottom of the aircraft, you'll see the blue light will start to flash. This means it's bound. So now we can go ahead and take our controller out of bind mode by hitting the buttons again. And the next step we're going to do is hit save one more time in the CLI command followed by enter. Now what I like to do is double check and make sure that it actually bound and everything is working correctly. So if we go ahead and hit connect and go over to our receiver tab, everything should be working as intended. So if you go ahead and move your roll right, it should go right on the bar craft and left, it should do the same. And you, you just wanna check each access. Our pitch is working down and up, our yaw is working left and right, and our throttle is working up and down. And you wanna go ahead and flip your switches to make sure those are working. So the left one is our aux two, which will be our arm, that's working. And our right one is our aux one, and that's gonna be our mode switch, and that is working. Now after that is all complete, we're done with the computer, so we can set that aside. 
and we're gonna actually go ahead and fire up our drone and make sure that it arms and that it hovers and everything's working properly before we go and fly. So first I'm gonna turn on our transmitter, then I'm gonna go ahead and power up the drone. And I can go ahead and arm our drone using our left switch. And you wanna make sure the right switch is in the down position. This is an angle mode. And how the mode switch works is down is angle, middle is gonna be your horizon, and up is gonna be your acro or your rate mode like you were used to with your other RTF kits. And now we can go ahead and arm the drone. And there you have it. It goes right, left, forward, backwards, yaw works, and our throttle is working. And now your E6 transmitter is working with your NanoHawk BNF. All right guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful, and if you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on videos coming up in the future, make sure to put them in the comments below. And as always, hit that subscribe and notification bell. That way you guys stay up to date on videos that we release here on this channel. But until the next one guys, I'm gonna go fly my NanoHawk with my E6 transmitter. So I'll catch you on the next one.